Welcome to our Five on Five. We're pleased to be joined by Jeff Barber, the general manager of the Rogue Valley Mall. Jeff, great to see you again. Thanks. All right, so tell us, school's back in session. Uh, what are you guys doing to coincide with that? We've got a couple of things going on. One of the things we're really excited about is um, a program um, that we're dealing, doing with the schools nationwide with our company all across the nation. Mm -hmm. We have over 140 malls across the nation. And we're involved in this program that's called um, Donors Choose. And there's a website called donorschoose.org. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a nonprofit website set up just to help schools. For instance, you, you might have a teacher who wants an overhead projector but doesn't have the funds in their program to do that. Mm -hmm. So they go on this website, fill out this quick little paragraph about who they are, what they need this projector for, how it will help, and then um, people in the community then can go on the website and donate 10, 20, whatever much they want to donate um, over a period of time until enough money is earned for that projector. Wow. And one of the things that our company is doing is that we're, we're matching some of these funds that are on there. So if you from the community donate, we match those funds, and so it helps them to achieve those goals even quicker. Oh, that's fantastic. Glad to hear it. Thank you. Okay, well, uh, I want to, of course, ask you about the economy and everything. Uh, how, how are things going at the mall? Are, are we coming out of the recession, generally speaking, as well as at the mall? Yeah, you know, um, 2000 and... Eight and 2009 were tough years. Yeah. Those were pretty much the, the heart of, of the recession, and at least in our area and how we felt it. Um, but ever since then, we've had positive increases every year, and this year we're also having positive increases. So I think, th although it's not um, um, you know, making new records, it's definitely in the right direction in a positive mode. Glad to hear it. Okay, and I know something we're, we're all, all paying a lot of attention to now that we're nearing fall, uh, REI, Trader Joe's opening, just almost across the street from you. It's just the same general area. Uh, how are you approaching that? Is that a good thing for bringing people to the area, or are you worrying about perhaps losing any kind of business? No, I think it's, I think it's fine. I mean, those, those are great uses. Those are uses that have been wanted in the Valley for a long time. Um, it's really um, <clears throat> recognition for um, our market, to say that our market has grown enough to be able to have those type of uses here. So mm -hmm. I think it just creates a, an even stronger um, presence for retail in North Medford. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, now, I want to ask you, kind of generally speaking, in the mall business, first of all, how long have you been in, in the mall business? I've been in the mall business since 1992. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations on your anniversary. <laughs> 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 so tell us, how, how do you manage the success of a mall? I mean, and what role do you play in that? I mean, are these individual businesses working with you, or do you kind of just oversee everything? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. It's a tough question because every mall is different and there's different owners and they have different objectives. Um, you know, typically though, you want to um, have all of the elements of the mall working together. You want to have it leased, you want to have it well cared for, you want to protect the asset, and, um, and then you want to be able to be flexible for the changing trends that come along. Mm -hmm. So I think that's kind of something that we've been able to do here. Um, you want to have always a little bit of occupancy so you can take advantage of different opportunities that come along. Mm. So, you know, we're about 90% occupied right now, which is a pretty good um, level to be. It gives us a little bit of flex flexibility to deal with new, uh, new opportunities coming in the area, which we have some of those. So. Yeah, excellent. Okay. All right. Now, uh, now that we talked about schools beginning again, uh, I assume you're looking forward to the holidays and everything. Anything we can expect from the Rogue Valley Mall uh, this year? Well, we're going to repeat our midnight opening for Black Friday. It was yeah. really successful. Um, last year, and so um, we're going to kick that off midnight black, on Black Friday. Um, there'll be um, opportunities to get gift cards, and there's going to be great savings from stores, and it's, be, it's just a kind of a fun event. Um, we'll repeat that as well. Mm -hmm. No, was was that something? Uh, I know that last year was the first year you guys did that, correct? Uh, it was the second year, second but it was year, the okay. first year that we um, that we did it full blast yeah and so we'll, we'll be fully into it this year yeah now I wasn't out at that time I'm you know I'm a, I'm a morning shopper well, we I guess when it comes to that I, I appreciate that thank <laughs> you was was yeah did you get a lot of positive feedback from that I mean is, is that an unusual move to open when you're a mall of that size yeah it, it was unusual but it was it was very successful and uh, we had crowds um, I didn't really expect it, but we had crowds like we normally did when we opened at 6. So wow. it was kind of a fun event to do. <laughs> nice. Okay, now if anybody uh, is, is looking for a job or anything, do they come to your office or do they come to individual businesses inside the mall? How does that work? They can do either. Um, individual businesses is probably the best way. We do keep a book where 
some of the merchants will come in and say, hey, we have positions opening, and they'll, they'll write it in a book that we keep at our mall office. Mm -hmm. But that's just to, to know who um, is, is hiring. Yeah. So they can just go to write straight to any individual business. Yeah, okay. All right, and uh, last question. Uh, Rogue Valley Mall, uh, do you guys have a website set up? We do have a website. It's roguevalleymall.com. Mm -hmm. uh, on that website, you can learn more about the donorschoose.org. Yeah. You can also um, sign up and participate in, uh, in our program um, that we have for the mall. Um, this is an opportunity called the club, and it's just for people to join the mall club. They get all kinds of, they know about the events coming up, um, they know about savings, sometimes we give away prizes on there, and those who are a member of the club get those um, as well. One of the things that, um, um, that I did want to tell you about, you had mentioned mm -hmm. about the economy, and yeah. <clears throat> you know, for a couple of years you just didn't see any retailers expanding or doing anything. Um, so, as a sign of the, of the improving economy, you know, we have four new tenants opening up this year, wow. um, in fact, over the next month. Very and nice. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty exciting. We've got um, Just Sports on the upper level that just opened. We've got a pre on the lower level next to Pennies that is under construction now. Rue 21 is getting ready to open this month. And then Wetzel's Pretzels will be opening um, up by the food court and a kiosk yeah. on the lower level. So Very nice. Yeah, Glad it's, it's to hear it. It's neat to see some of these things happening. Excellent. Jeff, thank you for coming in. Great to see you again. You bet. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.